You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, smile makeovers. Uh, according to my first guest, small improvements made to your smile could make a big difference in not only how people react to you, but how you feel about yourself. With us, we have Houston's cosmetic dentist, the go-to guy, Dr. Davis. Dr. Davis, welcome to the program. Thanks for inviting me. Pleasure to be here. Now you are, you know, I said go-to guy, but you are one of the busiest guys in the state. Is that right? When it comes to cosmetic dentistry? That's right. Easily, by far. And uh, it's a lot of fun doing what we do. It's not something that we uh, tend to brag about, but it's something that we've seen over and over. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, for people that don't know Smile Texas, who's the typical patient? Like, what are the different... Who's coming in for cosmetic dentistry these days? Well, we have everybody. Honestly, there's not really a typical patient. You can be somebody who's uh, a mother of five. And finally, she's got all of her kids off to college, and now she says, this is my turn now. I've been waiting my whole life to do this, right? Sometimes we have uh, CEOs that want to look the part, somebody who wants to get married in three months. Well, they're planning on getting married, and so they want to look the part. Is that common, the, by the way? Very. It, it's a lot. Getting married to get your teeth. A lot. We see that a lot. It's, it's very, very common. Um, all across the board, somebody who's trying to move up in their career, um, somebody who's just been embarrassed their whole life. I, I had one guy that came in. He knew his teeth were bad, but he didn't do anything about it till his children started bugging him about it. When they got old <laughs> enough to say something, and you know yeah. how children are, they're very yeah. unfiltered, and they would say, Dad, your teeth are not, are not looking very good. You need to do something about it. And so he came in and uh, finally did it. So it's, it, it's everybody. Now you really think, I mean, you're a dentist, but I mean, you think like the teeth are like one of the most important things. Right. Yeah. Do you really believe that? There's no question in my mind, not only from our personal experience to see what this does for people, but if you look at any study, right, if you look at studies on what people consider attractive, or if you look at what causes people to move up in life, a lot of times it has to do with their appearance. And not only that does it have to do with their appearance, but it also has to do with the fact that their smile looks good. So magazines, they've done uh, polling on this. What is attractive about a person? And always in the top three is going to yeah, be smile. Some, That's, it's that, always that going to be true. the smile. Yeah, so whether you're a dentist or not, it's just... Those are just the facts. But I always feel like, you know, and we're going to talk a little bit about veneers today. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like I could spot them. Like they're big and yeah, bulky. Yeah, the bulky, yeah. Like these, the, I mean, you've seen that like on some of these housewife shows. Oh, so I always, yeah. I wanted to ask you, so whose idea is that? Is that the, the patient that says, tell them I want big, giant, white teeth? Or is the dentist, maybe he doesn't get it or she doesn't get it. Like they don't have an eye for it. What's Bear. your take? Uh, on occasion, on occasion, we have a patient that says, you know what? I know there's nothing about me that's real. I don't care if my teeth don't look real. But I would say 99 out of 100 people, they want something that looks real, like it grew there. That's, that's what natural, I say. natural. Very natural. It can look dynamic and brilliant and really be complimentary, but it has to look very natural, very slick and streamlined, like it's just coming right out of the gum tissue. So your practice, I mean, pretty much all you do is cosmetic dentistry or dental implant dentistry. Right. Is that right? That's right. Our practice only does cosmetics or dental implants. As you know, you've had Rick Klein on the show. Yes, he's been on the program. We jokingly call him the king of dental implants, but he is, I mean, you guys are a very busy practice. It, you know, it's well-deserved. He's been doing this for so long, and it's a pleasure to be with him. He does so many dental implants. He's been teaching it forever. I have the privilege of just doing the cosmetic part of it. So our practice just does smile makeovers or cosmetic dentistry or dental implants. Now, is it true people, and Dr. Klein told me this, People get on a plane routinely right. to get their, their dentistry done there. It's a little Is hum that right? It's a little humbling when somebody comes from India or they England. They do? Yeah. They come from different countries. Uh, a lot of people are coming from out of state. Uh, and it's a little, I wouldn't say intimidating, but we know we have to nail it. We have to get it right because these people are coming halfway around the world sometimes to see us. And so we don't have lots of options of trying to fuddle and, and make sure that we get it right. We have to nail it the first time. So I wanted to ask you, I mean, does it, does it uh, cost more to go to guys like you, right? Busiest guys in Texas. That's one of the questions we get all the time. And, and it really doesn't have to. If you go to a guy that does veneers down the street, but he doesn't do a whole lot of it, the likelihood is he's gonna, he's gonna be charging the exact same fee as we are. But it's You've just- You've done hundreds of these, would uh, you say? More uh, than a thousand of these makeovers? Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, humbly speaking, we do a lot of this stuff. We do, it, we do this every single day, every single week, every single year. And so because we are in a unique position that this is all we do, a lot of times the cost can be the same at okay. us 
Every time I see somebody, when they come in and start talking to me, just like you and I are talking yeah. right now, I can almost immediately see what their final result's going to look like. Really? And they always tell me, oh, I'm the worst case you've ever seen. Right? <laughs> Do they say right? that? Everybody thinks they're the worst case. They're so embarrassed or, or whatever. But once you've done enough of this and you've applied those principles so many times, you know what it's going to look like. And that's, you ever get excited? Like you think, boy, this is going to be good. Awesome, all the time. I'll even say to the assistant, oh, let's, I, hope, I hope she does it. I hope she does it. This will be such an amazing case. Yeah. Because you don't want to come off salesy, obviously, but sometimes you're thinking, boy, this is going to be good. Yeah, a lot of times I say, just, let's just do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this will look so good okay. that, yeah, yeah, All let's right. just do it for now free. you brought photos. Yeah. What well, are we looking at over well, here? Well, Randy, here's an example right here. This gal came in, beautiful girl, but she's missing her front tooth. Missing her front tooth. You know how we said at the beginning of the show, we asked me the question, is a smile really that important? You know, you're a dentist. Well, if you look at this picture... The before. Of the before, okay. right. She's missing her tooth. She's still a pretty girl. But now you get her tooth fixed, get her smile She looks all more corrected. like a woman, actually. Oh, she's gorgeous. Like more sophisticated. Yeah, I mean, she's really almost strikingly pretty. And the only change on her is we fixed her teeth. That's it. So you tell me, is the smile important? Uh, you know, the studies will show it, but once you start seeing these cases and you work in this atmosphere day after day, you know, and these people come in with a little good. swagger and a little twinkle in their <laughs> eye. You know, they just look so good. I mean, I could show you case after case on how important it really is to make somebody look and feel better about themselves. You say in one afternoon, we talked on the phone, that in one afternoon, their whole life is, can be changed. Uh, yeah, a big transformation. No doubt about it. There's no doubt in my mind. You know, I can show you cases on cases. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's another gal, okay? I don't want to show you just young females, but again, this is another striking case. This gal is a chef. This young lady came in because she did not like the fact that her teeth looked like, to her, they looked like baby teeth. That's what she said. Okay. I've had these baby teeth. Plus they were yellow and she had been in Invisalign trying to get them straightened up. But she was frustrated by the fact that even if she had straight teeth with braces, they'd still be, in her words, short and yellow and I'm showing too much gums. So what did they say? Did they say, you know, doctor, what do you think? Yeah, of course. And what they, do you see? Like, what, 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 what do you see? Immediately you see, okay, based on those scientific principles I was talking about, the teeth need to be longer, the gums need to be less, the smile needs to be broadened out slightly, and they need to be brighter, obviously, to match her disposition. Because she's got a very sunny, outgoing, you can just see it in her face, a very right. sunny, outgoing disposition about her, right? Now look at the after. If you look at her... <laughs> it's a big difference. It, it's amazing, and all it is is teeth, right? But... People will say, oh, the smile's not that important. You can see now she really wants to smile and she's proud of the smile. And again, she now looks the part. She looks like she's a, a, the head of a bunch of sous chefs. Yeah, wouldn't you agree? I mean, she yeah, now no, looks- she looks good. She looks sophisticated. Very, that's like a great word. refined in yeah. a way. Yeah. Because right. I told you on the phone, I said, it's just teeth, really. Right, it's just teeth. And then you say, well, you need to look at some of these photos. Yeah, just so teeth. good, good for you. Yeah, yeah, well, thank you. So you have more men, more women, or probably more women coming in for we this? We do, uh, for the most part, I think we get more women, I would say. You know, men tend to be a little bit more, ah, it's okay, it's not, it's not necessary. You know, the wife nudges them to get in there. But, uh, but we do get quite a few men. I mean, for example, here's a, here's, here's a gentleman. He just had one of those aged smiles, right? His teeth were getting yellow. They're starting to shorten up. If you look at his before picture, he didn't like the fact that he had the gap. He was starting to get some pretty heavy dental decay or cavities. And he never did anything about it until his kids got old enough where they started saying something. And that- They told him, fix your teeth. Dad, yeah, you know how kids are really unfiltered <laughs> yeah, and they yeah, can be yeah. pretty mean? Dad, we don't like your teeth. So that's what prompted him to make a call and come in and talk to us about it. So what we did for him, was we cleaned up all of the decay, did some porcelain veneers, closed the space, and he was done literally in less than two weeks. Very nice. Yeah, and look at the before and the after. I think it speaks for itself. But look at the after. One of the things that I really like about what we can do nowadays is we can close this space without making it look like he's got two large beaver teeth in the front of his face. Right? If you look at him, you would never know in a million years that he used to have a giant gap between his two front teeth. Yeah. And if you follow the teeth, you can see how it follows the lower lip line. It's balanced right to left. The shade and the tone look natural. He wanted a little bit of a brighter smile. It's, you know, we hear that all the time. If I'm gonna do this, I really want it. I want it to pop a little bit, and that's okay. Uh, anybody can get any shade they want. We, we tend to try to help them with that. How do they know what it's gonna look like, by the way? Like that process? How do they know what the well, final yeah, result's I mean, gonna yeah. look like? How much say so do they have, or how much are you able to give them an idea of what it's gonna look like? Here's what I tell patients. 
I'm gonna choose the shape for the most part. About 85, 90% of it, I'm gonna choose the shape. That's based on how your lip line goes, the bone structure of your face, where your gum tissue lies, all of that kind of stuff, how you're speaking, all those kinds of things. But you are gonna have a lot of input in how bright you wanna be, because that's really an individual choice. That's like hair color, right? Mm -hmm. But I'll help you because it's also based on your skin tone. You want it to look and go with the rest of your package. If it looks like- Do you show them like photos? Absolutely, we'll show them photos. And what we try to do is show them a case that looks like theirs. Okay. That way they can see it. And the other thing we can do is we can actually image them. So we can give them an idea of what their result will look like. Even though I've always been a confident person, my confidence is well above what it was before. And even though I smiled before, I used to smile and always hide my bottom teeth. And I am like a walking billboard. I have so many people that just walk up to me randomly. Your teeth are beautiful. Like, what do you do to them? Or, and I always tell them, Smile Texas, it's, it's not a secret. My dating life was always kind of exciting. It's never a dull moment with me anyway, but since getting my teeth done, I, I think it's the extra confidence that's oozing through my teeth. I, I, most of the guys that approach me want to know about my teeth first. Like, oh my God, you have beautiful teeth. I am uh, in a relationship now, and the person I'm in a relationship with, the first thing he said was, you have the most beautiful teeth. It's like they're smiling directly at me. <laughs> I, I, I try not to get emotional. He was so reassuring. And he told me, he said, your life is going to change. And it has, for the better. And I, I had nothing to fear. I had nothing to fear. I, I felt no pain. If I was in pain, I didn't know about it because I took the, the option to, to go to sleep during the um, procedure. When they see their final result for the first time, they look in the mirror. You hand them a mirror in the office? We hand them a mirror or we have them stand up and look in the mirror. We sometimes get tears. It, it's really that exciting, it's so much fun. I mean, look at this gal right here. Okay, okay. So this lady is in law school and she felt like her career was gonna be inhibited by the fact that she had a gummy smile. She didn't like the way Is her- Is that what they tell you on the console? They, like she, it's going to affect my career? She told us that her dad wanted to give, or she wanted from her dad as her birthday present to get her teeth fixed. She's wanted that her whole life. Okay. And she's in law school and she thought, if I don't get my teeth fixed, I might not move up as far as I wanna go, right? Okay. If, I'm gonna feel a little bit inhibited. So here's what we did for her. Take a look, if you look at this, her gum tissue no longer is showing in a gummy way, right? Mm -hmm. Her smile is broadened out, her teeth look great, and it happened within, as soon as we put these veneers on, and she starts getting teary and gives me the hugs, you know we nailed it. And she, now she has this disposition and, a, and this, this swagger about her that she looks Confidence. uninhibited. Confidence, yeah, exactly. Like charisma comes back. We have exactly. time for a few more. What else are we looking at? Okay. A lot of times people are afraid like you were saying at the top of the show, a lot of times people are afraid they're gonna look like they've had veneers done. They just wanna have something that not only can they get it done quickly, as we, as we talked about, there are patients that fly from all over the world or from out of state that, that wanna come in, but they don't wanna go back home looking like they just came from the veneer store, right? Okay. okay. Here's a lady who wanted to have a real natural look about her. She's aged as far as her teeth go. She's a very pretty lady, but she- What do you mean aged teeth? An aged tooth is a flat tooth. If you look at her before we did anything, her teeth go straight across. Oh yeah, okay. They look like they've been almost rubbed with sandpaper, right? They're all fl flat, straight across. They're just worn out. Teeth are one of the few things in the body that it doesn't heal. Once it's damaged, that's it. You don't get any more, right? Yeah. It just wears out. And so if somebody wants to have the normal length of their tooth back, or if they want to have a natural shape and color back and get rid of the years of wear and tear, this is the answer, this is all you can do. Break. So those are porcelain veneers on the after? These are porcelain veneers. Looks very nice. Thank you. She did not want to have anything that looked like she came it somewhere and got her veneers and then went home. She wants to look like they're her own, they complement her face, they complement her skin tone. If you look at her face before and after, it looks very natural. It looks like by, it just By the way, her. she does look younger. And, and I'm trying, people need to know, it's a real interview. I'm not trying to side with you. I'm just asking the question, but she does look younger in the after. Yeah. Just because of her teeth. Can somebody be too far gone? Like their teeth can be really bad and there's always something you could do? I have not met, nor Dr. Klein, and a lot of times on these really complicated cases, we look at the case together. 
we have not met one single case where we didn't have a, an answer for it, where we could dramatically improve them. There, of course, there's, there's people out there that really don't have a single good tooth in their head. They don't have, sometimes they don't have any teeth, they're wearing dentures. We can give them dental implants. And I'll show you a case of our dental okay. implants. Okay. So this is a guy who lived like this for years. He was a little bit of an introvert, kind of shy, didn't like the look of his teeth at all, but was a little bit ashamed to do anything about it. He finally saw our website, saw the before and afters, and finally decided to make a consultation. He had a lot of teeth that had to go, okay. a lot. Okay. But if you look at his after picture, <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell which ones are implants and which ones are his it teeth that we just nice. veneered. Yeah. Yeah. So just by changing the teeth, look how it changed his appearance. Yeah. If you look at him before- he looks healthier. He's, he's the nicest guy in the world. But if you look at him before and you look at him after, which one would you say looks more intelligent? Yeah, as harsh as that is, you're it's, right. It's, it's, it's a reality and it's just, if someone is walking down the street and they're missing a bunch of teeth, you immediately make assumptions about them. Yeah. Like they, they don't know better or they don't care or- Or they don't have the money. They don't have the money, right. And a lot of people think that it's too expensive, it's out of my reach or my teeth are too far gone. Nobody's ever too far gone and it's really, in most cases, not as much as people think. This is what we see every single day. A lot of times patients will look at our before and after. So we have a, a very large portfolio of cases that we can show I people. I see you on Facebook, by the way, the before and afters all the time. Uh, it's good. Yeah, and people see that. The, 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 I mean, the, and that works, right? I mean, people come in and say, I want that. And or? They, they, all the time. They'll take a clip from either Facebook or Instagram or, or from our website or whatever, and they'll say, I love her smile, can you do that for me? Is that right? Yeah. Good. But a lot of times they'll say, I don't think it can happen. Do you really think you can <laughs> fix me? They, they, everybody thinks they're the worst case, right? Everybody thinks they're the worst case. There's only, there can only ever be one worst case, and I know who that person is. <laughs> okay. So it's probably not likely going to be the next person I see. So that on Facebook or Instagram, a lot of times people will be smiling with their lips together, right? You can tell immediately. So you think spot. they're hiding something. They are, or they hate their smile. They absolutely can't stand it. So they learn to smile differently to cover up what they don't like. So you could spot that. They spot it every single time. We all know somebody, a cousin, a sister, or it could be yourself, your father, mother, that never smiles in any photographs. You know that person. All right. Here's an example of that. This young lady came in. She was one of the most timid people I've ever met in my life, was so concerned about the way her smile made her feel and what other people, what she thought other people thought of her, that I don't know if she said three sentences to me when she came in. Her husband had to do a lot of the talking for her. We ended up fixing her smile. The very next year. Very nice. She won teacher of the year. Okay. In her school district. Won teacher of the year. We got thank you cards. And she specifically said, I believe it's because my smile helped me to feel better about myself. I was able to reach my potential. I was able to not feel like I had to hide myself in front of people anymore. Thank you so much. So these are the kind of stories that can happen to people just because of teeth, Randy. They're just teeth. <laughs> you know, because right? I told you on the phone, I feel like you're exaggerating about right, right, what right. it can do. Right. But, but yeah, no, I can see. I mean, it does change. I mean, actually, she looks like a very young girl. Now she looks like a more of a woman. Right. And you can see how her eyes are brighter, right? They learn These to smile. These all look natural. Yet. These all look, they don't look big and bulky, which I always feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. That's right. So... It's all in the design? It's all is that in what the you're design. Saying? It's how you put it together? Like I was saying in the beginning of the interview, if you know how to set the case up, if you, like when you're building a home, you blueprint it so yeah. that everything is correct. You don't just start putting veneers and hoping it's going to turn out okay. You have to understand what's going to look good on that person, how it's going to fit their face. Let me show you this other one about how this can really change just the teeth, Randy, right? It's just teeth? All right. How this can really <laughs> change the appearance of somebody in a very dramatic way. This gentleman was called Baby Gums his whole life, all through high school. Can you imagine being called Baby Gums? And, and whatever it is out there, I know that there's gonna be people watching this interview that are gonna say, you know what, I was made fun of my whole life too. With teeth. Yeah, but I'm too scared to do anything about it. I'm too intimidated. He came in because he had a friend that had his teeth done at our office. He came in, decided he wanted to have a consultation with us. We lifted his gum tissue up. We changed his bite so that it had a more balanced bite. I mean, he looked like he had chewed his teeth down. He was so overclosed. Yeah. If you look at the before picture, all we did was balance his bite and make his teeth larger 
and lift his gums up so that he could have a more balanced jawline. And it looks like he had a facelift. Looks like a different person. Completely. He looks like he had a facelift. This is the most intelligent guy. But if you look at his before photo, you would never assume that about this guy. And it could have been the fact that he was just so intimidated, embarrassed about the way he looked. So it just changes everything. It changes everything. Here's another gal. This lady wanted to have something that looked very natural. She, did, she was very specific about not looking too bright, not looking too fake white. Because a lot of times people get the vibe that if I go get veneers, I'm going to look too bright, too fake. She ended up having something that looked very natural, fit her skin tone. Yeah. Looks, looks great. It looks, it just compliments her overall, compliments her smile. And now, to be honest, she knows how to smile better. Yeah. If you have teeth you're not happy with, you, you don't know really how to smile. You've forgotten. Your muscles just don't seem to want to work the right way anymore. So right. on top of not having good teeth that you're ashamed of, you don't like the way your face looks when you smile either. Another gal, she had an open bite, was told that she's gonna have to have braces to close it down or we're gonna have to have jaw surgery to close it down. We put veneers on her, closed the spaces. She never looks like she had an open bite. This gal is a professional model. She had tried bleaching her teeth. She wanted to take it up a notch, very beautiful, but she knew she just had reached her limit on what she could do personally with her teeth. We put veneers on her, and that's what she gets. But that's a pretty good smile. Right, but if you look really close at those teeth, they're short, they're too short for her face, and they look too smooth and too worn down. Okay. So the after photo, you can see little texture in it. Oh, yeah. You can see little halos of translucency at the edges. They follow the lower lip line, and that's really what sets it apart from a good-looking smile to a great looking smile. Here's another woman, came from out of town, needed to have a fast turnaround. We were able to do veneers on her, take out some bad teeth in the back. She wanted to look like herself still, didn't want to look like somebody else. So we gave a smile to her that complimented her, gave her some healthy veneers or healthy implants in the back with veneers in the front. And it looks like the same woman, just up a notch, just All a right. better looking All version right. of herself. Another gentleman, Came in, had some old dentistry done. We see this all the time. They have kind of a patchwork quilt, a crown here, a filling here. Wanted everything just to look the same and get the spacing all right. Yeah. We were able to take out his old dentistry, make everything look like it blended and went seamless together. And now he looks like he has his smile still, but it's just a better version of it. Very pretty gal. She had short teeth and also she had an open bite in front, which means the front teeth don't come together. She didn't want to have jaw surgery to correct it. So she comes in with an open bite, which causes the front teeth not to come together. And if you look close at her teeth, her upper teeth actually do a little bit of this yeah, kind of yeah, an arc. Yeah. They, instead of following the lower lip, they do this. So by getting her smile makeover finished, she was able to have upper teeth that follow the natural contour of her lower lip and broaden her smile out. And of course, it looks just like her own I mean, teeth. That's a beautiful smile. I mean, do people like this, do they get compliments all the time? I mean, do they tell you like, like a day doesn't go by, I don't, somebody doesn't say I have a great smile. Well, I expect it, so I, already, I always ask on the front end. So how say? many compliments are you getting? Oh, all the time. They say that all the time. People, they love it. People love it. They can't believe that, uh, they, they tell us, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. Why didn't I do this sooner? I didn't, I didn't know that this is what it was So there's a like. lot of people that go from maybe from their 40s to their 50s, missing a lot of good years, never smiling. Right. And then in one day, right. it's changed. We talk about the fact of, that we do a lot of these cases. Yeah. What worries me are the cases that we don't get to do because people don't realize that this is not your father's dental office. Yeah. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be... Because nobody likes going to the dentist. Checking in with the clipboard, the smells, the drill in the background. You're not going to experience that. In a modern cosmetic dental office, it's going to be an amazing experience. You're going to wish you had done this sooner. And the reason why we know that is because those are the stories that, and the feedback that we get every single day. So I just wish people would just go to a great cosmetic dentist, at least just to talk to them. Just see what their options are. A lot of times it doesn't yeah. cost you anything just to talk and see what can be done. Because I, to, like I told you, I've never seen a case where we couldn't dramatically, dramatically improve their life. Just aesthetically, my, my smile needed some attention, but the more that we looked at, it, at my smile, it needed some, some help. I bet a month doesn't go by when somebody says, what a nice smile you have. I mean, what did, what did you do to get some, such a good smile? Or maybe they think I'm born with it, but uh, it's, it, that's been a, an enhancement. But it's, to me, it's just the byproduct of 
and, and a, a side benefit of, of being able to chew my food now because apparently my, my teeth were so open, there was a gap, I could only chew like a rabbit with my front teeth and you can't chew a steak and enjoy a steak like that. Before my veneers, I wasn't as comfortable, you know, wearing different shades of lipstick and it's made me more confident. Um, now I can rock my red lipstick and I not worry about it drawing attention to my teeth and I actually love the attention it draws to my teeth now. So it's given me a lot of different options on my lipstick colors and given me more confidence. I used to smile a lot, but now I feel better smiling. I like to smile. I want people to see my smile. I get compliments all the time, so you know, I think that it's helped with my confidence. If you're considering getting veneers, go over to Smile Texas. There's financing available if you guys need it. Um, and it's an investment in yourself for a lifetime that's well worth it. You're, you're not going to regret it. I always dreamed about having a great smile, and now I do. You know, we are short on time, but we have time for those two more. This is a gentleman who's a farmer. All right. You asked me at the top of the show, who does this kind of stuff? This is a farmer. He didn't like the shortness of his teeth, was told he'd probably end up having to have them removed. There was no answer for him. We fixed his bite, fixed all his teeth, took care <laughs> of the problem. good looking yeah. smile. Yeah, he loves it, absolutely loves and it. And you love it. How can you not? Listen, <laughs> I'm the firm belief that if this doesn't get you excited, you don't have a pulse. Okay, okay, right. good, good. Yeah. Last one. Last, Last one. one, again, this is a very young gal getting ready to get married. Didn't like her short, baby looking teeth, thought it made her look too young, gaps, gummy, raised the gums up, didn't have to go into braces. Now, instead of having just straight teeth that have a bunch of fluorosis staining on them, she's got beautiful teeth that fit her face and not gummy anymore. So really, this can go anybody, any demographic, any person can have this done. All right, now, we're out of time. Final message, somebody watching this, maybe it's their fear of the dentist, or the type A personality is just too busy to get this done, uh, or they think they're too far gone or whatever, what do you say to them? They're afraid or putting it off for whatever reason. Because we do this all the time, we're in the very special position of being able to sedate people, get it all done at once. You don't have to have one tooth done at a time, the tooth of the month, the tooth of the year. You can have your entire smile done in one week in most cases, less than a week actually. So if somebody's too busy, then they need to lighten up their schedule if they don't have at okay. least two days in so one week. So if you week, don't like your smile, do something about it. Do something about it. Come in and, and, and talk, go, go see a very qualified cosmetic dentist and at least find out what and your options are. And if they call are. your office, they get to see you? They get to, they'll, they'll see me that very day. Okay. I see all of the consultations myself. I'll get to meet them. They'll see that I'm just a laid back guy. I get it. I've had my teeth done. My wife, I've done hundreds and thousands of these cases. So I understand their situation. I know what All they're right. going through. Now we are completely out of time. And, and I've told you, I've had medical doctors and a lot of dentists on the show and I'm not endorsing you, but these are some of and the best I've seen. So good job. Thank you. Thanks again. You're I doing good work. You. You're watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.